The news day continues here on One News Now. I'm Charles Lejano. The PSA is currently holding a press conference for May inflation. Let's listen in. Inflation. LPG na may 33.7% inflation at renta sa bahay na may 1.5% inflation. Ang transport ang ikatlo sa may pinakamalaking ambag sa pangkalatang inflation nitong Mayo 2022. Ang commodity group na ito ay nagtala ng 14.6% inflation at 24.6% share. Ang mga pangunay nag-ambag sa inflation ng transport ay ang mga sumusunod. Gasoline na may 47.2% inflation. Diesel na may 86.2% inflation. At other passenger transport by road tulad ng pamasay sa tricycle na may 1.1% inflation. Sa labing tatlong commodity groups, anim ang nagtala ng mas mabilis na pagtaas ng presyo nitong Mayo. Ito ay ang mga sumusunod. Food and non-alcoholic beverages na may 4.9% inflation. Alcoholic beverages and tobacco na may 6.8% inflation. Clothing and footwear na may 2.1% inflation. Transport na may 14.6% inflation. Recreation, sport and culture na may 1.6% inflation. At personal care and miscellaneous goods and services na may 2.5% inflation. Samantala, nagpakita ng pagtaas ng presyo ngunit sa mas mabagal na antas ang housing, water, electricity, gas and other fuels na may 6.5% inflation at furnishing, household equipment and routine household maintenance na may 2.5% inflation. Nanatili naman sa kanilang antas ng inflation noong Abril 2022 ang mga sumusunod na commodity groups. Health na may 2.4% inflation. Information and communication na may 0.7% inflation. Education services na may 0.6% inflation. Restaurant and accommodation services na may 2.8% inflation. At financial services na may 0% inflation. Sa National Capital Region, Ang inflation nitong Mayo 2022 ay bumili sa antas na 4.7% mula sa 4.4% noong Abril 2022. Noong Mayo 2021, ang inflation sa National Capital Region ay naitala sa 2.6%. Ang dahilan ng pagtaas ng antas ng inflation sa National Capital Region ay ang mas mataas na presyo kumpara noong Mayo na nakarang taon ng food and non-alcoholic beverages na may 4.6% inflation at 55.7% share sa pagtaas ng inflation nitong Mayo 2022. Ito ay dahil sa mas mabilis na pagtaas ng presyo ng mga sumusunod. Vegetables, tubers, cooking bananas at iba pa tulad na kamatis na may 20.1% mula sa 14.2% inflation noong Abril 2022. Meat and other parts of slaughtered land animals, gaya ng manok, na may 4.9% inflation mula sa 3.6% inflation noong Abril 2022. At fish and other seafood, particular ang dilis na may 7.5% inflation mula sa 6.5% inflation noong Abril 2022. Ang pangalawang commodity group na dahilan ng pagtaas ng antas ng inflation sa National Capital Region ay ang transport na may 13.8% inflation. You just watched the PSA releasing inflation data for the month of May. To recap, headline inflation surged to 5.4% last month from 4.9% in April and 4.1% in the same month of last year. This matches the median estimate of 16 analysts in a Business World poll and is within the midpoint of the 5 to 5.8% forecast earlier given by Banco Central Governor Ben Diokno. May's inflation figure is the quickest since November of 2018. And the PSA attributes this spike to rising prices of food and beverages, transport, and other fuels. Global food prices have gone up due to the war in Ukraine, as well as the previous lockdowns in Shanghai and major cities in China. We'll be back with more stories after a quick break.
keep it here on One News. You're still watching One News Now. I'm Charles Lejano. From dead last in September, the Philippines has jumped, has jumped to the 33rd spot in Nikkei Asia's latest COVID-19 recovery index. Greg Gregorio with the story. The Philippines has logged its best performance yet in Nikkei Asia's COVID-19 recovery index for May. This is the country climbed to the 33rd spot out of the 121 countries included in Nikkei Asia's ranking. The Philippines jumped over 24 places from placing 57th last November. Recall that a country initially ranked the lowest in September 2021 and 103rd in October. Among the criteria used by Nikkei Asia in its COVID-19 recovery index include vaccination rate, infection management, and social mobility. Malacanang says Nikkei Asia's latest report proves that the government's recalibrated strategies are effective in addressing the COVID-19 pandemic. 
this include the shift to the alert level system, the observance of minimum public health standards, and the ramping up of vaccination efforts. And if you notice, no, yung death natin for the past, siguro mga one or two weeks, okay, zero death tayo no, from COVID. I think yun ang pinakamalaki factor. And then of course, yung leniency ng mobisa mobility. Um, medyo nag-relax na tayo, including yung uh, pagpasok ng mga travelers dito sa ating bansa. For the Philippine College of Physicians, Nikki Asia's latest COVID recovery index holds weight. Mga nagkakaroon ng COVID cases pero hindi na dahil sa mga mild lang kadalasan sa kanila ay hindi naman kailangang admitin. The PCP added that hospitals can feel the overall improvement of the country's COVID-19 situation. Pag-aralan natin ang eventually pagtanggal dito ng state of public health emergency. Nakikita natin ngayon, sinabi mo rin yung Nikkei, na maganda ang kalagayan ng bansa natin in terms of health. Ang Pilipinas ngayon ay nasa level 1 in terms of low risk. Meanwhile, Presidential Advisor for Entrepreneurship Joey Concepcion believes it's high time for the government to lift the declaration of state of public health emergency in the country. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na itong administration ni President Duterte ang gawin nila ito. No? Kailangan, we should start to discuss kasi the concern is that uh, pag tinanggal yung health uh, emergency, yung pagkukunan ng budget nila sa mga pagbibili ng bakuna at medisina na baka mawala. We want to lessen the burden. We have to start already planning on how we can transition. But infectious disease expert Edsel Salvania is against this proposal. Meron rin kasing mga naka-attach na uh, conditions doon sa uh, uh, public health emergency, doon sa state of calamity, uh, katulad na nga ng sinabi rin ni Yusek Verhere, yung, um, yung ano natin, EUAs, EUA. mawawalan niya ng visa kung bigla natin tanggalin itong state of calamity, state of mm. emergency. Salvania says the government may start to transition once COVID-19 vaccines become commercially available in the Philippines. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News. The NLEX connector project is now 72% complete. With this development, the 5-kilometer NLEX connector project between the Caloocan and Espana interchanges is expected to be completed within the year. And those are the top stories at this hour. Join us later at 11 a.m. as we continue to monitor the day's biggest stories. You can also catch One News on SignalPlay. Register for a free account at www.signalplay.com so you can stream One News live anytime and anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. Mask on, wash hands, and stay safe, Philippines. We are One News.